So you open your Google Tag Manager container, but the Google Analytics for Configuration tag is missing. Why is this happening? Let me explain. Previously, we had to install Google Analytics 4 with a configuration tag. And it looked something like this, where you just select G for configuration, you paste the measurement ID, and maybe you set some additional configuration here. Right now, if you want to install Google Analytics in a new container, the process will look like this. You go to Tags, New, Tag Configuration, and then you can select Google Tag either here, or here, or here. In general, it's the same Google tag. So to make things clearer, let's say that we want to go with Google Analytics because it just makes things easier to understand. So click Google tag, and here you have to enter the tag ID. In the context of Google Analytics, tag ID is the measurement ID. And you can find that measurement ID by going to Google Analytics, then admin, then data streams, then click your website data stream and copy the measurement ID here. For example, you can click this icon. Then you can paste that ID right here. And in the triggering, select initialization all pages. Then name this tag. You can call it Google tag or GA4config, wherever you like. And then you click save. And what we did here is the same what I had in this particular container where there's still a GA4 configuration tag. Now the setup process of the GA4 event tags has slightly changed as well. So now if you want to, let's say, send an event when a visitor clicks something, you will need to click New, Tag Configuration, Google Analytics, and select GA4 Event. Here you should paste the same measurement ID that you entered in the Google tag previously created. Once you enter it, Google Tag Manager will look for a Google tag in the container using the same measurement ID. But in the future, if you plan to have more GA4 event tags, you will need to paste this measurement ID over and over again. That's why I would recommend to create a variable that will contain this measurement ID. And then in the future, it will be much easier for you to reuse that variable. So instead of this, let's cut it and then click the button right here. Then click plus to create a new variable, click variable configuration, and then select constant. Here you should paste the measurement ID and then we can enter the variable name. It can be something like constant G for measurement ID and then you can insert the actual measurement ID. Click save. So this will insert the variable but right now when I'm recording this video it does not trigger the validation of the measurement ID so I select it, cut it and paste it again. I hope that Google will fix this bug in the near future. And then here you can enter your event name, for example, menu link click, if you're tracking that kind of event. And then in the event parameters section, you can add additional parameters. If you want to learn about event settings variable, I will post a link to a description below this video. So here, for example, I could insert the link URL parameter and link text like that. And here I can enter the variables that will dynamically fetch the information about the link. So this is very similar to what we had in the past with the older setup process. Let me show you. So here's a container that still has the old way of the setup. So here I select the configuration tag, but right now I will need to insert the measurement ID. Then I have the event name. I also have it here, so that doesn't change. And then in the event parameters section, I insert the parameters. So that's what we were doing in the past. And right now we are still doing the same thing right here. The only update in this case is this part and then the event settings variable. But as I've said, I have a separate video for that. So if you want, you can take a look at that in the description of this video. So this is more of a cosmetic change in Google Tag Manager, but I totally agree that many Google Tag Manager users got confused when they could not find the Google Analytics for configuration tag anymore. The rest of the process remains the same. You would need to create a trigger and then save this tag and then the tag would fire based on the trigger conditions. And that's the new way how you should manage your Google Analytics for tags in Google Tag Manager. You might be wondering what should you do with your older GA4 setups that were using GA4 configuration tag. Don't worry, Google has migrated them or will soon do the migration for you. If you want to learn more details about this entire change, I have an in-depth tutorial. You will find the link to it below the video. Also, you can access it somewhere right here. So that's it for this video. 
If you want to stay up to date with GA4 and Google Tech Manager, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.